Hello folks, it's my knife here and welcome to episode 7 of Let's Play Terra Farmercraft. Now, for those of you who watched episode 6, you might be wondering, my knife, what are you doing in this hole in the ground? When last we left you, you were snug as a bug in a rug in your uninspired but safe home base. Well, funny story that. Remember how I said I wanted to spend this episode going out and finding sheep? Well, I did that. I set out for my base and I climbed the nearest mountain because sheep are, sheep are only found in mountains. And I didn't find sheep. And I climbed the next mountain and didn't find any more sheep either. And that was the end of that day. And then the next day I climbed another mountain and found no sheep and so on and so on. <clears throat> it didn't make for very interesting viewing, I felt. So I just kept looking for sheep. And since I don't have a bed to sleep in, once I got far enough away from home, it wasn't worthwhile to keep coming back. So I just started pillaring up on this, uh, these thatch blocks here and spending the night up on top of a pillar. Well, as you can doubtless hear, there is a thunderstorm going on. And with thunderstorms come lightning. And I am not going to stand on top of a mountain, on top of a pillar of thatch, in the rain, in the lightning. So I'm just hunkering down here instead to wait out this rainfall. But the good news is I did finally find some sheep. Ah, yeah, morning has basically arrived. The bad news is I forgot to bring any wheat with me, so I can't bring the sheep home. So that was kind of a boneheaded maneuver on my part. But, oh, great timing. Ah, the rain just ended. Excellent. Oh, I didn't want to, eh. I want to keep my thatch. I don't want to use it here. Let's use dirt instead. However, it's not completely useless because I should still be able to use my knife to uh, shear some of the wool from the sheep, assuming they're still there. Ah, there's one. <laughs> yes, at last. Come to me, my woolly friend. Yes. Yes. There we go. Did I get it? Oh, my inventory's full. Uh, uh, let's eat some beans. <coughs> and just throw this one away. Why didn't I get any wool? Did it like fall to the ground or end up up here? Or what happened to it? Hmm. Okay. Well, there were three of them here earlier, like before I went underground. So let's see if we can find the other two. Maybe I'll have more luck with them. Here's another one. Oh, this is the male. What about you? You want to give me some wool? There we go. Where's the third one? I think I need two bits of wool, like two fleeces from the sheep in order to have enough uh, wool to make, make a bed. Oh, here's the other one here. Uh, nice location, guy. Well, you're not a guy, are you? You're an ew. Ew, what a location. Okay, two. Oh, okay. Well, that hurt a bit. Ah, there's my wool. Ah, at last I have wool. Let's come around here on the other side and see if that... Oh, that one's not going to be trivial. Maybe we should go the other way. See if maybe that first guy did drop his wool and it just went all the way down. But yes, now I think I have enough wool to finally make myself a bed. Of course, I don't have any planks with me, so I can't make it here. And I didn't bring the saw, because that would have been thinking too far ahead. But, you know, you live in your loin. And once I get these sheep back home, maybe I'll live in loin chops. Ooh, there's another one. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Ho, 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 Yeah, I don't know. How far am I from home anyway here? 771 meters. That's not that bad now, is it? I've seen worse. 
There we go. Three wool. That'll definitely be enough. And still don't know what happened to that other guy's wool. Did he just not give me any, or did it uh, go flying off into the Neverlands? Oh, well. ouch. All right, let's go for a swim. An early morning dip. Oh, yes, as you can see from my health bar, I'm down below two. I've got less than two notches left. Oh, I better drink something. I had a few run-ins with mobs along the way. Trying to climb a mountain and there was a uh, javelin skeleton waiting for me. But I, I got from him a copper javelin. Eh? Eh? A trophy of my battles, my epic battle. All right, let's see, where did I encounter that first sheep? Or maybe that's the same one and he just ate and regrew. Oh yeah, I think that's what it is. He probably just ate some grass and regrew his, his shiny pelt. Yeah, okay. Well, that's excellent. And it's going to be fun times all around leading those guys back to a pen back home. But we'll deal with that when we deal with it. Now I just have to try and get home without dying. And I'm actually going to get home here before it's before nightfall. Beauty. The other thing was weird is I didn't see any deer. I, mean, I didn't spend a lot of time in forest, but did spend a bit of time in forest. And I didn't see any deer at all. So, still no leather or still no hides. However, um, what do we want to do next? Three planks. That's all we need. Oh, let's. Oh, so I do have some carrots. Uh, oh, actually, food should go in this locker. So let's put you in there. Put you in there. You grab the carrots out of there. Oh yeah, so yeah. Uh, good, I had beans. Yeah, I picked up some squash while I was out there. Anything else interesting? Oh, the green beans. I guess I, I don't think I'd. Oh no, I previously had green beans. Yeah, except I might have eaten them all. Okay, but getting distracted as always. So I have wool here. Ah, yes, there's a step still to be done here. Um, we need to spin the wool. And before we can do that, we need to make a clay spindle. Oh, actually, this is not how we do it. We take a stick. And we put a blob of clay on top. That forms the spindle. And then we come over. Is this where I was doing it? Oh, it's a flaw in my setup here, but it'll work. There we go. Uh, is there anything else I want to make from the clay? I won't bore you with that right now. Come on, give me a full stack. How about a full stack? Oh, actually, I have a full stack on me, don't I? Yes, I do. Anyway, I'll get this started, and then I'll bring you all back once it's done. Because, you know, you've all seen it already. You don't need to watch more of it. We'll fire up that spindle, and then I'll see you back here. Ciao for now. Well, we're back a little sooner than I expected to be. I should have realized that putting a fire around wooden floor blocks could be a problem. So, yes, indeed, we burnt up a wee bit of the floor here. So, how about we replace that with stone? There we go. And let's see, we need <clears throat> do those.
those guys. Let's just make sure that's still in a full complement. Probably does. Yep. Anyway, I'll get this restarted and fix it up and talk to you later. Okay, well, welcome back. Our fire has finished up here. Oh, let's use a shovel for this. And now we can grab our spindle head out of there. The stick burned away, so we add another stick to it. And now we have an actual spindle. And when we apply that to wool, we get yarn. And we have 24 yarn here. And if we put four yarn in a square like that, we get wool cloth. We'll just keep the rest of the yarn for the moment. And now, actually let's grab them from here. Use up these guys. Oops. And so we can take three wool cloth and three planks. And at last, at last, we have a bed. Ah. Uh, Okay, well, I was doing a few other things while we're out there. Um, actually, let's just finish up with these guys here. Did a bit of farming while I was waiting for that to go by. Where's my knife? There's my knife. Okay, and I think the other thing I want to do is make up... I start putting some signs down too, so I want to do a bit more of that. I'm getting enough crops out there that I can't keep track of them all. So let's do up a few more signs. Ooh, and we have just enough of these left for one more. Alright, so for now let's uh, dump the spindle and the wool into there. Uh, we can get rid of that too. Hang our saw back up on the wall. And let's go. So you can see we got a bunch of stuff here that's ripe. So I put in a row of rice and a row of green beans. And I th can't remember if this is oats or rye. I think it's oat. It is oat. Okay, so oat we already have. Anyway, so there's oat. this is ripe oat here. Um, eh, I probably should have put the green beans in there instead. Oops. But, so what we're left with is barley. Barley is one that we haven't done yet. This is I know this is the wheat. So this is still oats. So why don't we put a sign down for that. Oat. Wait, and let's come over here. And we got some barley. Let's lay down. Let's lay down eight barley. Just because we can. And I have some other cultivated bits of land out here that were either being used for something else or <clears throat> were mistakes. Uh, these are onions, but I'm not going to bother putting a sign down for them because they are all, whoops, since they're all ripe now, just collect them. And I guess I can plant the onions. I can put new onions in where the wheat was. The garlic over here is all ripe as well. Red peppers here are ripe. We're just waiting for the other row to come in. But we can keep a sign up for those at least. Oh, should we plant more garlic? I think we kind of got garlic coming over our ears, but oh, what the hell. I think that works. 
works, right? One, two, three. Ooh, this guy might not be hydrated. Oh, he's hydrated. Great. Okay, so this is garlic, right? Garlic. Really waiting for the wheat to come in. Got to start getting that wheat together because I've only got like one <laughs> wheat grain left. And if I accidentally feed that to an animal, then I won't have anything to lure other animals like sheep and chickens home with. Yeah, chickens are going to be worse to find than uh, than the sheep were. So. At least not out of the bed. So I don't have to keep running home all the time. All right. Barley and green. Oops, um, rice grain, barley grain. We already had some oat to grain. Oh, these are the oats I just harvested. I won't bother grinding them up into flour right now. You've seen it once, that's plenty. All right, let's start putting some of this crap away. Onions, uh, shovel, I need no axe, but I'm not going to do that right now. Ah, I want my wheat to go and bring the sheep home with. And I think I've got enough food for the journey. Though actually, yeah, yeah, okay, I'll take a bunch of these. I've got more coming in, so that's not a worry. And even though it's late in the day, let's just grab our bed and head out. Sheep, 766 meters. Da, 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 da. Off we go on another magical mystery journey. And I won't make you sit through the, well, I don't know. We'll see. I'll record the entire journey and if nothing happens, then I'll edit it out. Or edit parts of it out. But I thought you might want to see the first use of the bed. Ooh, exciting stuff. And we're getting there. Getting to be that time. There we go. Ah. Okay. So we're not going to be having too much problem with uh, mobs anymore. Not that I had a whole lot of problem with them before, but they still haven't killed me. So, I mean, part of that is due to the fact that I cower inside all the time. But when you have no armor, that's the right thing to do. Oh, speaking of mobs. There's a skeleton that I don't want to have anything to do with right now. Jesus. Oh, it's only midday. Probably have time to reach the sheep. And then I can sleep with the sheep. If you know what I mean. <clears throat> and then we can start out on our mast mastical, magical mystery journey home. See, now this is a forest here, but there are no deer. Where are all... Oh, it's a pig. Don't want a pig. Oh, well, mind you, if I kill a pig, since I have my own pig supply home... Yeah, you give me hides, don't you? I'm pretty sure I get a hide off you, right? Yes! Okay, alright. So that's the other thing I can do since I have my pig farm at home. If I run into pigs here, I can just kill them for hides too. Ha! Okay, so I had three sheep up here that I've got to lure down off this mountain somehow. Uh, yeah. Here, why don't you just stay lit? 
Okay. I am going to have to build myself a road up this mountain, and uh, that will probably take some time. So, again, I'll probably end up uh, cutting uh, cutting this out here and then getting back to you when I'm done. See you in a bit. Well, I managed to get the mail down, and currently storing him in this hole here. So, let's make this a little bit bigger. So I don't feel like an utter brute. And uh, I passed the night away down here as well. Now there's still, there were two females up there. I didn't see the one on the one side. There was another one on this side. Is she still up there somewhere? Oh yeah, there she is. Up there. Uh, how the heck do I get to her? Hmm. Maybe the one around the other side will be easier to get to. Maybe she came down of her own accord. See her anywhere around here, don't hear her. Ah, there she is. Excellent. Excellent. That's right, you want to follow me, don't you? You will follow me across the seas until I can find a place to stash you while I collect the other two. Come along, little doggy. Whoops. Oh, I went too far. You lost interest. Now I have to wait for the timeout. Mm -hmm. See the sights? Fine times. And suddenly you realize I really like wheat. Oh, yep. You like wheat again. That's right. Can't start the morning without your Weetabix. What are we? Speaking morning? That's not too bad. Yeah. We're gonna uh, meet up with your friend. Who's over here? now. Oh, there's another sheep down there. Jeez. I think it's another male, though, and I don't really need another male. There we go. Did you see a great leap I did? Double speed jump, and I immediately futz it up. Okay. Okay. Well, let's grab him anyway. 
Just in case I lose. Yeah, it is a male. Oh! Oh, that's another male. Oh, Jesus. I'm getting all these males. Come on, where are the ewes? Guys? Oh, well. Looks like there's going to be a gangbang tonight. Alright, guys. So you got to come over here. Right? And then... Oh, I screwed it up again. But you both come in. Alright. I'm going to end up trapped in it myself next time. Well, I have been trapped in at least once already. There, now you guys got some way to move around. So if I keep finding the rams down here, there should be some ewes to go along with them, you would think. was a community of gay sheep. In which case that uh, that female back there is perfectly safe. Hmm. Okay, well. There's none here and I know there's another one back on the side of the mountain there, so an ewe in the hand an ewe in the mountains is worth two in the plains yeah just doesn't have the same ring to it okay so somewhere up here how the heck do i get her down yeah you you're the one i'm talking about yeah what time of day do we have here yeah, soon it'll be time to sleep. Okay, I think this is going to be another uh, off-camera job while I work out exactly how I'm going to get up there. So, see you guys in a bit. Okay, well, I managed to finish a route up here just before night fell. And then I had to work my way back down to the point where I could get to the sheep. And now let's see if... There we go. She's interested. Come on, you can come up there, can't you? Or do I have to do this? Ah, uh, yeah, I just screwed myself up. All right. Let's get one more out of the way here. And now. Yes, there we go. Yes, come on. Come on. Come to Papa. And actually, having done that, I can just... If I was going to do that, I should have just... <laughs> I didn't need to build my other stairs up. <laughs> I could have just come up with the first set that I built for the ram. Whoops, I outran you. Got to wait for your little pea brain to get interested again. Yeah, beautiful sight, isn't it? Oh, look, wheat. These sheep have a shorter tension span than my paramour when faced with shiny. Okay. See, all your friends are down there. You can come join the party. Okay, um... Let all you guys come up. There we go. 
And now we begin our magnificent journey home. But the main thing I want to be sure of is that I've got both of the ewes. Yes, I do. And let's hope to hell we don't run into any wolves. <coughs> yeah, I remember doing this in one seed and... Oh, actually, it was, yeah, it was chickens I was leading back, which are, like as I've alluded to on several occasions, are much rarer and harder to find than the other animals. Yep, yeah, they're both there. And, uh, and as I was going through a forest, a pack of wolves came along and started killing off my chickens. That was unpleasant. Haven't lost either of the ewes yet, have we? Yes, we lost an ewe. It's afraid of that. Okay. Back we come. Okay. Ah, oh, there you are. Ah, oh, you recovered your coat. That's nice. Oh, shit. I'm thirsty. All right. Well... Still. Alright, well, as you can see, this is going to be a slow and tedious process. So, once again, I'll bring you back in if anything interesting happens. Oh, here we are. And that wasn't as bad as I'd anticipated. It only took me two days to get them back. And as you can see, I lost a ram and unfortunately one of the ewes along the way but but we made it oh let's just bring him through the gate come on you want to come in and you little you you want to come in right Alright, let's bring the ram in then. Let's bring the other ram in. Okay, that brings you in. Okay, let's bring the you around here. See if this works better. There we go, get you lined up with the block. Yeah, there we go. Now last I can eat. <laughs> Problem is, of course, as soon as you let go of the wheat, they lose interest for a certain period of time, so... There we go. Alright. So the only other thing I want to do here, I guess, is... to uh, harvest their wool again. And, uh, wait a minute, what do I, oh, I have two males in here, right? Pregnant female, oh, do I have two females in here? Oh, that's right. Oh, this female isn't pregnant yet because, oh, because I haven't had any wheat come in yet. That's right. I'm still waiting for my wheat crop to come in. Oh, I can gather in the rest of my oats, but first let's just see if I can make myself some clothing. Take this guy here. Uh, oh yeah, this is, let's see, it's a sheepskin and a rawhide. Sheepskin! This was the, <laughs> one of the sure, sure-footed mountain sheep. Uh, lost its footing while I was coming down a not all that pre precipitous decline and fell to its death. So where's my knife here? So I can scrape the wool off that. And that'll give me another raw hide, which... What the hell happened to the raw hide? 
That should have given me a hide as well. I think I got cheated of a hide. <sighs> Not happy game. Yeah. Well, anyway, at least I have the wool. Okay, so we'll take the wool as before, spin it into thread. Grab this stuff here. And I don't know whether you can do cloth like that or if you have to do it like that. Oh, I hope you don't have to do it like this. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay, I'll have to go look that up. Maybe you can't do... I thought you could do clothes out of it. But anyway, so I'll go look that up. But there's been... Uh, that's been plenty enough for this episode, uh, even with all the cuts. So I'll see you back for the next episode. Bye.